A wire with resistance R0 is drawn out through a die, so its radius becomes halved. When we make a wire thinner using a draw plate, we stick one end of the wire into the next size hole and then pull it out with a steady force. Then the next size hole, then the next, until the wire becomes one with the desired thickness. In this case, the radius becomes halved. What is the resistance of the new wire? Answer in terms of a number times the R0. The resistance of a wire is rho times L over A. When we draw this wire out of a die, it's still the same material, so the rho resistivity is the same. So this resistance is proportional to L over A. The cross-sectional area of the wire is pi r squared. And this means the cross-sectional area is proportional to r squared. The radius becomes a halved, and we have to square it, so the cross-sectional area changes by a factor of one-fourth. So the cross-sectional area changes by a factor of one-fourth. What about the length? Does the length stay the same? No. Because uh, when we draw the wire out of a die, it gets thinner, it also gets uh, longer. So the length uh, has gotten longer, but how much longer? Let's see, when the wire gets longer and thinner, what stays the same? It's the amount of material that stays the same. So the volume stays the same. The volume stays a constant, and what is the volume of a wire with cross-sectional area A and the length L? It is the cross-sectional area times the length. Since the cross-sectional area changes by a factor of one-fourth, that means the length must quadruple in order to keep the volume the same. So the length changes by a factor of four, and this gives us 16. So the answer must be 16 are not.